This little guy has the fastest punch in the entire world. They call him the hero of the ocean. But can I keep him as a pet for 30 days without him shattering his tank? To figure this out, we must first build an enclosure. And we can't just use any tank. It has to be made of tempered glass. This is because tempered glass is five times stronger than regular glass, making it harder for the shrimp to break. But there's a problem. I built this tank so the shrimp could burrow underground, but he dug too deep and hit the glass. Oh my goodness, did you guys hear that? It sounds like he's hitting something. Where is he? Oh boy. So I removed all of his rocks to reevaluate how I'm gonna do this. And yeah, he's uh, pretty mad at me right now. But I saw another YouTuber use PVC pipe and I decided to make it more of an arena with multiple tunnels going all the way around. So our shrimp, Mike Tyson, can battle the crabs. In the wild, mantis shrimp live inside coral reefs and protect them from predators. So it's very important that we add a lot of coral to this enclosure. That's looking good. On day two, I gave Mike Tyson a mussel to eat. But this is also our first test. You see, mussels have a shell that is roughly the same strength as regular glass. So if he could break this, then he can break single pane glass. He's inspecting it. He needs to make sure this is not a danger to him. So he waits till the cover of night. He hits it so hard, he scares himself. The next morning, I found the muscle in pieces. He destroyed it. And that's why we are using tempered glass. But can Mike Tyson punch his way out of our tank? We will soon find out. Algae is taking over the glass, the sand, and the rocks, making it impossible to see in. So I'm gonna scrape the glass, vacuum the sand, but what do I do about the rocks? Luckily, the ocean has a huge variety of cleanup crews. And if you guys wanna help protect the ocean, then make sure you subscribe. These are hermit crabs and turbo snails. <laughs> Wait, is he eating the crab? Oh boy. Together, this duo will keep the algae at bay. That is, if Mike Tyson doesn't eat them first, the algae is all gone, but so are the snails. To prevent the algae from coming back, I need a better solution. I need a tang. In the wild, blue tangs play a crucial role in maintaining coral reefs by grazing on the algae. But algae isn't the only problem the coral reefs face. Coral reefs are some of the most breathtaking ecosystems on the planet. And right now, they are in danger because of us. Pollution, rising ocean temps, and human impact are wiping out entire reef systems faster than they can recover. And that's why we are partnering with Planet Wild, a community-based nature protection organization. Every month, their community of over 17,000 members fund a new project to bring back endangered animals, protect the oceans, and restore the beautiful forests that humans have destroyed. The best part, we witness the impact of our donation within 30 days. As Planet Wild documents everything on YouTube videos for us to see, they don't just show you problems, they show solutions and give the people hope that we can still protect nature. Your contribution will fund a new nature protection mission every month. You can save animals like Godzilla, Yoshi, Mike Tyson, and Nemo without even getting off the couch. They take on big world changing conservation projects and make it easy for everyday people to literally save a piece of the planet. When we protect coral, we protect entire ocean communities. It's like crowdfunding, but for nature. So join me and become a member of Planet Wild and start making a difference. You can give whatever amount feels right to you and you can cancel at any time. I believe in this mission so much that I'm gonna give the first 100 people to sign up using my code, their first month paid by me. Just scan the QR code or click the link in the description and let's show the world that humans aren't just the problem. We are also the solution. So you might be thinking to yourself, won't Mike Tyson eat the blue tang? And the answer is, maybe? But for the last 10 days, I've had these other fish in the tank and they are still alive. Big Mike has definitely tried to eat the fish, but they outsmart him and even taunt him. Now, why did that rock just move? Here you can see the blue tang eating algae and keeping this tank clean. 
it's day 15 and Mike Tyson still hasn't broken the glass. But that doesn't mean he can't. And to test this, I found a clam that has a shell slightly stronger than tempered glass. So if he can break this, we are in trouble. But having the fastest punch isn't his only superpower. Mantis shrimp have the most advanced eyes in the entire animal kingdom. They have 12 to 16 photoreceptors. That's nine more than humans. This allows mantis shrimp to switch how they see from ultraviolet to infrared to polarized light. That's insane. They also have the fastest acceleration speed in the ocean. Combine that with a 52 mile per hour punch and the world's strongest armor, this little guy can beat up a full grown octopus. He can smash rocks and break bones. Oh, he hit me. Yeah, we're not gonna test that one cause you know, I like my fingers. The coral is getting big. Everything seems to be thriving. The feather dusters are waking up and ready to filter the water. And the anemone uh, moved. Where the heck did the anemone go? I had it right there. Anyways, it's time for Battle Royale. One shrimp, one crab. Who will survive? The crab sinks to the bottom and wait for Mike Tyson to show his face. This crab is hiding behind this coral. Very sneaky. But where is Mike Tyson? Hey Mike, there's uh, crabs invading your tank. You, you might, you might want to come stop them. He peeks out. Bonjour. And then retreats and covers his hole with one of the corals. Oh my goodness, he's using you as a door. Let me get you out of there, little buddy. I can't believe Mike Tyson would just take advantage of your shape like that. All right, there we go. You're free. Meanwhile, this snail is eating a nice snack, front and center, for what's about to happen. And it happened so fast, the coral even retreated. I had to slow it down so we can see. Mantis shrimp are really good at taking down crabs. One of their techniques is simply knocking off a crab claw and eating it. And if they get hungry again, they just go back to the crab and knock off the other claw. This way the crab lives for another day. Once it was safe, the snail went back to eating his meal as if nothing ever happened. It's day 30 and Tyson still hasn't broke the glass. It all looks good and intact. You see, when tempered glass breaks, it shatters like this. Yeah, that's terrible. But now that we have seen the power of Mike Tyson breaking snails, killing mussels, and destroying crabs, it's now time for the ultimate test, the clam shell. If he can break this shell, then he can break his tank. He first inspects it, then retreats. He needs to come up with a plan. He returns and realizes the angle is all wrong. And he adjusts the clam. His third time around, he's ready. And he strikes. He strikes again. You can see the shell is cracked. One last strike and it's all over. He's in. So yeah, Mike Tyson could break the glass if he really wanted to. But that wasn't enough. I decided to put an even bigger clam in to really test his power. But this time was different. He's flipping the clam over and waiting for it to open on its own. And it's working. The clam is open and Tyson rushes in to hold it with his bottom legs while prying it back open with his hammer claws. He grabs a quick snack and leaves. I feel I've underestimated this creature and he's more intelligent than we thought. If you want to make a difference in this world, then consider joining Planet Wild in protecting it. Every penny counts, and the first 100 people to join with my code gets their first month paid by me. Just scan the QR code, click the link in the description, and watch every month on YouTube how your money is making a difference. If you want to see Planet Wild in action, then check their latest mission, cleaning up Mumbai's plastic river here.